For the first step, you want to head over to search and type in Windows Defender Firewall. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on Advanced Settings. And then we're going to click on Inbound Rules. And then you want to click on New Rule. Then you want to click on Port and then click on Next. Then you want to select UDP. Then you want to make sure that specific local ports has been selected. And then you want to type in 49152-65535 and then click on Next. And then click on next again, click on next, and then just type in any name you want. I'm just going to type in Warzone, and then click on finish. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator, and then click on yes. Once you're on this, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, and then click on enter. Then you want to type in netsh space winsock space reset, and then click on enter again. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in network reset. Click on it. Then you want to click on reset now and then click on yes. Now you want to head over to search and then type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it and then click on other troubleshooters. Then you want to run the network and internet troubleshooter. If you have any problems with your internet, then it will fix it for you. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to find either your ethernet or your Wi-Fi. No matter which one you have, you want to double click on it and then click on properties and then click on Internet Protocol version 4. Then you want to make sure that use the following DNS server address has been selected. You want to make the first line 8888 and you want to make the second line 8844 and then click on OK. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.